Tabs. Tabs are thin pieces of material that connect multiple parts. I wish to leave some tabs here. The purpose of a tab is I may not have enough clamping areas to properly clamp the part and stop chatter as I machine around these profiles. So a tab is something that's very handy, can minimize ch chatter, and allow is easily broken by hand afterwards. Mastercam comes with a very handy tab feature. If I click on parameters, there are tabs. However, there are certain times where the tabs just won't work. In this particular instance is one, so I'm going to manually create the tabs. What I wish to do is leave a tab of material from this area of this part to this area of this part on each end of each of these parts. When creating my tab, I want to keep a couple things in mind. I would like my tab thickness to be 20 thou. If I go back again and look at my machining parameters, I have turned on the breakthrough of 25 thou. So when I create my tab, I obviously need the material here, but I do want the tool to break through the bottom everywhere else. So I'll actually need to create my tab, the 20 thou plus the 25 thou breakthrough. To do this, I'm going to switch my system color back to purple. Switch my drawing mode to 3D. Turn off the tool paths. And I'm going to use the X form translate option. And I will translate each one of these line segments where I wish the tab to be created. And my selection going to use the move command and I'll set the distance to the 20 thou I wish the tab thickness to be plus the 25 thou breakthrough amount I have. As soon as I accept this I'll get a warning. Over here Mastercam's letting me know I've deleted geometry that was used in a toolpath. That's okay we will go back and correct this. Clear your screen colors and now create geometry to connect the endpoints of the lines. You may need to zoom right in to make your selection easy or activate the all or only color purple selection. Carefully work your way around and make sure you've recreated all the geometry required. We can double check we've created all the geometry. We will now need to rechain our second, third, fourth, and fifth chain. The first and last chain will be fine as we haven't created any tabs in that area of the part. Select geometry. Right click in the chaining manager. You can rechain one at a time or choose to rechain all. Be sure to use partial chaining. You'll need to switch to the 3D chaining mode and again use partial chaining for your newly created tab geometry.
After rechaining all your geometry in the appropriate direction, accept this chaining. Close the chaining manager window. You will need to regenerate your tool paths, but there are still a few features to be changed. Select parameters. Select cut parameters and switch the contour type to 3D. Click on your linking parameters. You'll notice how the depth has been grayed out and switched to incremental. Currently, if we leave this selection, the bottom of the tool will go 3 8 past the geometry selected. So change your depth to 0. Accept these selections. Regenerate your tool paths and verify it and make sure you have the tabs where you desired. So in this case we can see we have a tab at each end where I desired it. Save your work.